Hey everyone, Mystic here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing what I think is one of the biggest and most exciting content updates we have gotten in Growl era in the past few years. Now, this has been a jam-packed week for updates including the new Summer Shop and Weekly Shop, however this video is going to be reserved for the brand new Gang Coin Shop as you guys saw in the title and thumbnail. I am particularly excited for this update because I've been asking for something to spice up PKing and basing for some time now. This update is definitely a step in the right direction because at the very least it makes basing much much more lucrative. Now within this video I'm going to be going over how you get gang coins, how you can get them in the most efficient way, and of course we're going to be taking a look at some of the clips of the new items as well as discussing them. Now before I do end the boring intro part, I do need to thank one of the developers of this shop, Jordan Job, for showcasing the items he did make. Now without further ado, let's jump into it. First up, I do want to go over what gang coins are and how you can attain them in the most efficient way. Gang coins are a new currency in Growl era that can be obtained by doing various activities within bases. These coins can purchase hats, melees, and guns from the gang coin shop that is located just north of the crab shell shop. This shop resets every 4 months bringing in new items to purchase as well as taking away the previous rotation's items so you only have 4 months to get all the items that you want. This particular shop rotation will be there until the end of November. Like I said before, gang coins can be obtained by doing various activities within bases. Each day you can earn up to 450 coins by killing players within bases as well as capturing and holding the bases themselves. Each kill that you get within a base will award 1 coin with a maximum of 300 coins earned this way per day. However, if your gang is currently holding the base, this will double to 2 coins per kill. In addition, you can also earn 2 coins every minute while holding a base with a maximum of 130 coins earned this way. And finally, you will earn a once per day bonus of 20 coins when you capture a base. There was, however, a small disclaimer from iMask as you will need to be in the main room with the safe to actually earn your base holding and capturing coins. Now getting into what I think is the most efficient way to do this. Firstly, the kills are going to be a piece of cake if you just participate in Fort Killer events. You will usually get anywhere between 100 to 200 kills doing this, so doing just two of these events during the day should hit the max for that. This will of course be even faster if your gang is holding the base during this. As for the capture and hold objectives, these are pretty self-explanatory. You will need to capture a base at least once and then hold the base for a total of 65 minutes. This should be pretty easy as most gangs will accept any help that they can get. If you are doing this though, you must be in the main room so make sure you're doing that if you are grinding any coins. So now that all the logistics of this update are out of the way, I want to go over the new items you can purchase with these coins. There are 3 melees, 3 guns, and 4 hats available for purchasing, ranging from 1500 to 20,000 gang coins. I was able to get clips of 3 of these items thanks to Jordan Job who developed them, so a huge thanks goes to him. However, sadly that means I won't have any clips for the other items as they are impossible to have already purchased since there is a daily cap on coins. Starting off with the melees, the cheapest is the Death Dagger and Shield. This costs 6500 gang coins and deals 8 damage at a fast speed while in melee mode. This weapon's special move is that it can be put on your back and replaced with a shield that negates 25% of the incoming damage that you would have received. The melee part of this weapon is pretty lackluster as even some of the holiday shop or summer shop items have equal or better stats, but the value of this item is placed in its shield functionality. The easiest thing to compare this to is the Plasma Shield that cost 1000 Plasma Coins in the Plasma Shop. This item deals 7 damage and blocks 50% of the incoming damage. This is double as effective as the Death Shield, so in my opinion this is one of the least useful items in the shop. That being said, it is a really good looking weapon and could be worth it to a collector if they didn't want any of the other items that we'll discuss in a bit. Next up is the Death Staff coming in at 10,000 gang coins. This is another version of the ever popular heal staffs from the EC shop and auctions. It deals 8 damage at a fast speed and has a special move which heals you for 3 HP every heal tick. The only thing that's holding this weapon back is the lack of flashy animations or particles when it's spinning, but that is a pretty negligible factor. Its base graphics and animations are still really clean and could be preferred over the more flashy versions. This is definitely a 100% buy if you don't currently have a heal staff. It is the quickest one to obtain and should take the least effort. However, this probably isn't worth it if you do already own one of these as it isn't really any different from the previous ones. The final melee in this shop is the Soul Knife, which costs 11,000 gang coins. 
This weapon deals 9 damage and also heals 3 HP per heal tick, which is the same heal as the Death Staff. This is where this shop gets really interesting, as a 9 damage fast heal item is something this game severely lacks. I haven't actually been able to see this item yet, however it definitely has a lot of potential when it comes to its usefulness. I personally think this is an absolute must buy for any PvP player that uses heal items and doesn't already have one of the very exclusive 9 damage ones. It is the best one out there currently and doesn't really have a huge requirement. This is personally the item I am going to be grinding for. Moving on to the guns, the cheapest is going to be the L85A2 coming in at 7,000 gang coins. The description says it is an 8 damage and a semi-automatic rifle, but sadly I couldn't get any more information as nobody has it yet. I assume this weapon will be similar to how the old M4 functioned. Personally, I don't really see the point in buying this as most likely you already have a better gun if you've grinded out 7,000 coins. Next is the DSR-1 Sniper, costing 11,000 Plasma Coins. Once again, I was not able to obtain footage of this weapon, however the description says that it deals 12.5 damage per hit. Again, this weapon really doesn't seem that impressive, it would take 4 hits to kill someone from full health, which is the same as the bar. It just feels like most players would already have better weapons if they were able to get this many coins, so I don't really think it's worth purchasing. The final gun is the WIW-89. This is the most expensive item in the shop, costing a whopping 20,000 gang coins. This weapon deals 10 damage and has a pretty fast rate of fire. Watching this gun in action, it actually seemed really promising. I really enjoyed the rate of fire and spread, as it seems to be pretty hard to dodge or predict, but it also seems pretty easy to use. It is also automatic. The WIW also comes with a grenade launcher that shoots pretty fast and deals 9 damage. This is a fun little addition that can come in handy in certain situations. I do like these additions as it gives the gun some added functionality without making it completely broken. Overall, I think this weapon is relatively worth it. I would probably say that this is the second best purchase in the shop, just behind the Soul Knife, but above the Death Staff. It will take over 22 days to grind, but I feel that's worth it when it's only 1-2 to two hours per day. There are also four different gas masks that you can purchase using gang coins. These are the Death, Golden, Robotic, and Geishi, I probably butchered that, gas masks which each cost 1500 gang coins to purchase. I'm personally not a huge fan of most of them, however my favorite is definitely the Death gas mask. It looks fantastic on its own, but as you can see on the screen it looks really good when combined with the shield from the Death dagger and shield item. I do really like these gas mask additions though, and I'm pretty excited to see more whenever the new rotations come in. Now, before I do end this video, I want to give my own overall opinion on this new content update. It's pretty obvious from the intro that I absolutely love this update and have been waiting for it for a long time. Throughout my time on Growl, I've always thought that basing was the single most boring activity in this game. With this update, that has changed because it finally has individual rewards and something to work to. However, this update did not only just fill a content hole, but it actually was done in probably the best way it possibly could have. The addition of daily caps has given everyone a daily task to complete, which was something this game lacked. On top of this, the cap isn't too hard to get to, only requiring at the most 2 hours of gameplay. This is extremely fair and balanced, and is a huge step in the right direction to content players will enjoy. The second amazing feature that was included in this update was the fact that the shop changes every few months. That means there will always be something new and interesting to grind for, and it will make this content feel refreshing instead of becoming stagnant and boring after a month or two. Overall, this is probably my personal favorite update we have received since the arcade back in what I think was like 2015. To me, this update actually shows where content could be heading in the future. This along with the brand new weekly shop shows that the admin team is beginning to swing towards more frequent and scheduled updates. This is a huge win for every player on this game. I have voiced mine and others opinions on how boring Growl can be when there aren't frequent updates and it seems that the team is actually listening to us and I appreciate that a lot. I really hope this continues to be a sticking point in updates to come as it will change this game a lot and hopefully begin healing the damage this game has taken on over the last few years. And with that, this is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video and everything inside of it, please give it a like as it helps me out a bunch. Also, please comment down below your thoughts on this update. I've added a lot of commentary into this video as I really want to discuss this with you guys, so please comment what you like, don't like, and any suggestions for it in the future as I would just love to hear it. 
And of course, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel as well as hitting that bell icon as it'll keep you up to date on all ground news, updates, and everything else I got in store for you guys. I will be having a video on the new weekly shops coming out every week as well as a summer shop overview this week, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.